What's going on, my people? And thank you for tuning in to On The Lockout. Today, we're going to talk about PMB, the robbery, how it all took place, or more or less what I think about it. First of all, let's start off by saying my condolences go out to his family and rest in peace to that brother. No one's life should end in such a tragic manner. With that being said, for those of you that don't know, his family is Puerto Rican, right? So, of course, like, it's touching anytime anyone die. A lot of people don't even know that, that he comes from a Puerto Rican background, right? And I ask myself what a lot of people that oftentimes even tell me at times in the comment section, won't you guys report on your own culture, on your own? We are reporting on our own culture when we report on hip-hop. In case you, I don't know, you've been under a rock or something, but, uh, a lot of us were around when hip hop was first born. I know I look like a baby, you know, like, right? <laughs> I could be your father, baby. <laughs> Facts. But I won't be. So let's get into it. PMB Rock, the whole situation, how ignorant it was, right? Because one of the things that's facts about it is that to the guys that took that chain from him, you're not too bright, Joey. That chain is worthless once you committed a homicide. That chain is like hot, hot times 10. So to find someone that's going to want to give you bread for that chain, like the value of it is like, bro, I'm not doing that. You're putting yourself you're aligning yourself with a crime that just took place that's all over the news like what jeweler if you're a jeweler and you buying these chains from people that commit and take a life you're not too bright because you're actually hindering or, or, or should i say it, the proper word you're hiding a murderer a fugitive that's wanted for taking someone's life I don't think I want to be that jeweler. Leave in the comment section if you would like to be that jeweler. Like, would you buy that chain? I wouldn't. I don't care how much it's worth. And again, these people that are doing these things, you have, you got to understand the mentality of a person that gets high. Not a lot of normal people walk into a restaurant in broad daylight, smoke somebody, and take their belongings. Addictive people do that. When I was a ripping and running the streets and I was indulging and I had an addiction, I was robbing everything. I woke up with like who we're robbing today and the ability to commit a homicide was there. Like, bro, if I got to, I'm taking his life for that because I need that. Because you might be on Percocets. A lot of these dudes are running around on Zizzer, uh, 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 liquid heroin. They're sick. They know. You've you seen the prices they charging these dudes for that? These dudes are on Percocets. These dudes have all types of habits. Now that you trying to get jiggy and cover it up, that's another thing. We've all done that in the hood and in the streets. And if I'm lying, leave it in the comments, bro, because I'll never lie to you. That's another channel. I've been through it all. Nothing to glorify. There's no glorification in dumbness, right? That was my life then. But you wake up like with somebody got to get it. And that's an easy spot because people go there that are famous and they got jewelry on. And if you're posting your location, you just made it that easier for someone that needs money and is sitting in their house like, damn, what I'm going to do, bro? I'm getting sick. Or they may need the lean or they may need the perks or they may need the dog food. Right? Or whatever you are, you smoking bud. Some people do anything for bud. Right? Because... In case you didn't know, if you wake up in the morning and you go cop and you copping bud, you're an addict, bro. You're a custy. You're no different from the dude that gets up and goes by hard. Facts. What's the difference? The act is the same. You're giving your money to the next man. You're a custer. Facts. But the truth is, 
that is super sad, bro. I remember when he first started coming up and singing his songs and all that. I was like, I like this kid, you know? And being from Philly and me, I, I stayed in Philly at one time. For those of you that know my story and what's been going on with me and follow on the lockout for all these years, I stayed in Philly for a certain amount of time, right around there, Germantown. Uh, and that's where he was from. And they call it Germantown for a reason. You know how you guys be calling us Germans? You heard? Shout out to all my Germans. I put a lot of people in the clinic behind that word facts, especially on the island. But with that being said, uh, uh, it was needed, though. <laughs> but anyway, uh, PMB Rock, right? I heard, I don't know how true it is, that 6 9 was laughing about it, if it was true. And people are not uh, uh, lying. Then, my dude, what is so funny to be laughing about something like that when you're not too far removed from the same thing happening to you without a chain? You don't even need a chain. All you got to do is drop that location. And dudes is on you like, uh, like bees on honey, bro. Facts. So... There's nothing to laugh about when something like that happens to any human being. And the fact of him being black, Puerto Rican, white, Asian, it's not important. What's important is that a life was taken and he was only 30 years old. And more importantly is the direction that our people, not is heading, has been at for decades. Like... It saddens me every time I wake up and I see another young brother dead. Not only a rapper, it could be anything, right? And it opens my eyes and it makes me think like, damn, all the things we did, right? But I don't want to sound hypocritical either because that was the life I was once fully involved in. Now, just because I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not far removed from it. There's times I wake up still to today and I think of like, damn, I should catch the jokes because it's also an addiction. Robbing people, pulling out a gun, taking something that don't belong to you becomes addictive. And like no any other addiction, we normally don't stop or two. We either dead in jail for the rest of our life you get it somebody needs to stop us because these things give you a feeling where they fulfill the emptiness in your endorphin system if i'm wording it right and i don't know if you understand me but you feel like a high beyond belief and you're not even gonna notice how much chaos is about to come your way. And when you finally wake up and notice it, at times it's too late because you're already on death row. You already locked up for the rest of your life. And like, what did you gain from that, bro? Like nothing. Thank God that some of us woke up like ahead of time, right? But for some, the only thing that is going to wake them up is a life sentence. And what good are you behind bars to your loved ones or to people that may care about you? See, I understand that even though you're living a life of crime, there's people that care about you, although you may not think so. A lot of times, that's why we do the things we do. We feel nobody loves us. Nobody cares. So what the hell? Let me just live a savage life. And if they take me out, they take me out. But I'm a bang and I'm a live while I'm here. And I'm a live wealthy, happy at other people's expense. You look stupid. You're a bum. And I was a bum too. So if you're going around robbing people, sticking people up, taking their life for jewelry, or even if you don't take their life, you're a bum. But you're a bigger bum when you take their life. Like in that situation... Some of these people, you didn't have to kill them. And I get it. Like, yo, he didn't want to take it off, so I blinged him. Like, I didn't mean to kill him, but he died from the shot, right? 
But some of these people are, like, wasting the gun on the dude. Like, bro, your intent was to kill him so nobody talk, but you're an idiot. There's, like, mad people in the restaurant. You, you know, cameras involved, all types of things. It's 2022. The chances of you getting away with a crime like that are fucking very slim. Wow. So, yeah, I just wanted to... uh Say rest in peace to him, you know, and just because it's music that I had listened to and when I don't, I say it. And another thing is that uh, I was always happy for him because I'm always happy to see happy to see a Latino brother, a Puerto Rican brother be successful in anything in life, whether it be podcasting, whether it be comedy, whether it be uh, uh, this beautiful uh, thing that we helped build called hip hop, rap, right? Uh, that we played an important role in, a uh, uh, role in, uh, uh, it means something to people like me that make content that is for the people, right? Like we for all people, and it's always been hashtag love all people, but we all know that at the end of the day, with no fronting, your people come first, right? Right? So you're not the only one that feels that way, Johnny. And it's okay. 